This episode is brought to you by Scale Production and TheScaleModeler.com. Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. I have previously done one on doing the insides of the windows, and I figured this was a proper opportunity to show you how I do the outsides of the window trim. Um, in this case, the window trim is uh, molded into the clear parts, so it has a sort of a raised edge. Uh, basically, I just apply a big piece of tape over it, run a toothpick uh, along the line to know where I need to cut it, take out a fresh sharp blade and trim around the edge, applying medium to light pressure. After completing the cut, take off the masking tape for the parts you want painted. The cut sometimes pulls up the masking tape a small amount, so I take out a toothpick and run it across the line I just cut and go over it with my fingernail just to feel if it's all the way down, and then check it with my eyes from the front and back to see if it's properly on the clear parts and that there's no air bubbles so that the paint won't seep underneath the masking tape and pretty simply ruin the clear part. For painting I'm using a acrylic model air paint from Vallejo. This is pretty much just airbrush ready paint but works really well while brushing it on. I decided to go with two light coats, the first one and the second one pre being pretty much the same so no difference in that. I'm only showing you the first and while that was drying I decided to do all the other parts and then when I came back to this one it was ready to apply the second coat. The reason I'm using acrylic paint instead of enamels or uh, using zero paints by airbrush is that this is a really easy paint to take off and it doesn't really bite into the material as where uh, enamel paints are really hard to get off and you need chemicals to get them off and those chemicals ruin the clear parts and you pretty much don't want that and for zero paints that's pretty much the same so this is the safest route to go in my opinion and it works pretty good and if you mess up just take out a toothpick and you can easily scrape it off or even with your fingernails if the paint is still pretty fresh. On the headlight lenses I used a permanent black marker to uh, mark the edge off to simulate the rubber that is usually around the edges on the headlight lenses. This works pretty much the same for taillights and side marker indicators or uh, all those other small parts. It just gives it a bit of a, a more realistic look in my opinion and it is a really small effort to do and it looks good in the end. This video was brought to you by skillproduction.de. Check out their Facebook page and website for some awesome products for the automotive modeler. Also, don't forget to check out my web shop, thescalemodeler.com. I'm an official Zero Paints, Scale Production, and C1 Models dealer. Don't forget to like us on Facebook to keep updated on our projects and some in-between stuff, questions or suggestions, shoot us an email or post a comment. And of course, as always, thanks for watching, hope to see you guys next time.